let's talk about how you can organize your Canva so that it is most efficient for you to use and you aren't always spending a lot of time searching or recreating designs you might already have. When you log into Canva on the left hand side, the default screen is your home screen. With your home screen, if I scroll down, you'll see all of your recent designs and these are listed in the order of which is the newest. So it could be the newest creation or the most recent design that you've gone in to make some edits on. That's the order that they're listed in. You can have them set up in this grid or if you click on the three lines over here on the right of your screen, you can see it as a list, whichever is easiest for you. I would encourage you to make sure that you have all of these named in a way that is easier for you to search and to find because when these are named correctly and you use the search feature up here at the top, you'll be able to find things a little quicker. So for example, if I were to search, I have a few things here named, let me just search the word carousel. You'll notice that I have templates that come up and projects. Templates would be anything that is created and hosted by Canva, which would not include anything I've created. But if I'm looking for something that I have already worked on that is a carousel, if I make sure I've clicked on projects, it's looking for anything that has been labeled carousel or has carousel as part of it and it would show you my designs and the folders and so here's one of the designs if i said click on this it pulls up that carousel and from here i can edit and revise so that's one way of making sure you have things named appropriately just click on the pencil to update the name and that way you can search um, your personal uh, designs that you've created. Now let's talk about all the designs that we have here in the recent designs and how can we organize these in such a way that it's easier to find. Well, we wanna put these in folders. So if you jump down here on the left to projects, click on projects, and you'll notice you have folders, designs, templates, videos, and there should be one that says images here, but I've already moved all of my images, so that's not popping up. The folders, are a great way of cataloging or organizing your content. So you need to come up with folder names that make sense for you. Once you have your folders created, and if I click on folders to create a new one, I just click on this plus up here and I can add a new one. And that's how you do it. And again, these are all listed in the order of what's been touched most recently as your first a folder. This is where they begin. It always is going to start with purchased pieces, start, anything you've started as content and uploads, and then your folders begin. When we go back through this project section and look at designs, we now want to move our designs into folders. Here are some designs that I need to move. Let me click on a few here. So I've got this one and let's click this one. If I click in the checkbox, I have multiple images, you'll notice a little a menu pop up down here that has a folder image or a trash image. So I can either trash things at once or I can move multiple items to the same folder. So if I click on the folder because it's already created your projects and these are Park Lane images, I'm going to put them in the Park Lane training, move them to the folder. It's not deleting anything, it's just organizing them and moving them into a folder. Now, what if I needed to delete something? One, I'm gonna check these two. Let me find one more. We'll just take these three and I'm gonna throw them in the trash. Boom, it's done. So I'll need to do this for all of these graphics that I've created. And again, once the, you can either rename them before you put them over there or once they're in a folder, go back and rename them just so they're easier for you to find when you're doing your search. Sometimes when we create things, they always come up as a default with untitled design. And if you don't change that, it's gonna be really tough for you to find things later. So you can do that with designs, you can do the same thing with templates and you can do the same thing with videos. Then once they're all organized in your folders, this is where you can find them. Once I've organized things so I can find them, how do I find these things when I'm ready to create something? So if I create a new document, I go to create design, I wanna create, let's say a Facebook post, and I want to include something that's in one of those folders. So I've already moved all of my images into folders. So if I went to uploads, you're gonna find I don't have anything here because I've already moved them. This is kind of the, the place where you would see things that uh, you haven't organized in any way, they've just been in the system. But because I've organized things, I wanna go and click these three dots 
because I've tried, search the uploads, it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but I click my three dots and I can say, I wanna search my folders, click on my folders, and I wanna search the Deb and Becca folder. I have 115 things in there and look, here are all the pictures that we have taken that we use in our graphics. So this makes it a whole lot easier for me to find what I'm looking for um, just by putting them in folders. Now, if I want to get even more precise with what I'm searching for to make it easier, remember, name your images what you might be searching for, right? That makes it so easy. So here I've got my design, I've gone to folders, I'm gonna to go to the Deb and Becca folder, all designs or images. If I click on images and I type in a search in the image search field and I type in Becca point, if I've named my images something that I am looking for, here are two images that I've named or tagged as Becca Point. And now it makes it easier. Instead of having to search through all of the images, I can find exactly what I'm looking for. So as a quick wrap up, here under your projects, that's where you find all of these little tools for organizing those folders, those images, those videos, those templates. This is where you can start getting all of your organization in place that will help you find your content in the future to either update or incorporate in future designs.